Welcome to the archipelago of Formula One. Bahrain might have a small land footprint, but it's showing its big spirit right now in the grandstands. Either way, it's time for another fantastic weekend of Grand Prix racing. Hopefully a fantastic week for us is, like I said, we have a, we've got quite the car. It'll be interesting to see what the grid order looks like. I've taken a peek at some of the, uh, the rankings of the, uh, of the, of the other competitors and uh, I think there'll be some interesting surprises if they hold true. So we'll go ahead and skip to qualifying here. Um, we'll see. Not as crazy as I thought it would be. Um, from the initial reports, it, it looked like Alfa Romeo actually had the second best car. They might still very well have it. Um, as you can see, Alexander Albon in P7, just need to see what qualifying has to hold. So, um, obviously the big, uh, I guess I kind of glossed over it. Um, the big loser in, uh, in free agency was obviously the outgoing Fernando Alonso. He has decided to, uh, he's still technically available, um, but I believe his retirement has been announced and he will not be accepting any new contracts. So, Fernando has decided to, uh, call it quits on F1, but obviously lots of good memories with him and, uh, wish the virtual Fernando nothing but the best and <laughs> looking at how things went today in the real world with his teammate he's uh he's gonna be more than happy to find uh, some peace and quiet so either way his replacement Carlos Sainz doing very well he has um I mean I personally I'm a little biased with Carlos because I am uh, I would consider myself a Carlos Sainz fan uh maybe a little bit of bias but uh you know he was cheap He's a really good driver in the game, uh, obviously at a 90 overall, so just as good as basically anybody else besides uh, Verstappen. So could be a very interesting year. Obviously, I'd like to, to win the constructors and the drivers in the same season. So that was the main thought process be, uh, behind his signing. So uh, with that being said, we'll skip through Q1 and we'll see where everybody really is. And there we go. Something a little bit more representative. Uh, of the grid going to be a rough year for Haas man it's going to be a rough <laughs> a rough rough year um we'll go up with Lewis and we'll probably want going up with Carlos jumping ahead now simulating Q2 I assume we'll have no issues okay interesting 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 so the Alfa Romeos have actually been knocked out in Q2 hmm well there you have it it's not the case um in any case, we did not improve with science on the uh, on the setup after Q2, so we'll go ahead and drop him down. Meanwhile, with Lewis, we'll go the, keep moving in the right direction. We'll keep moving up. Um, for this season, I will be sticking with the AI strategy of sending them out on softs first and doing their the whole session on one compound. I know it's not ideal. It's a very, very strange for me, but I want to kind of mitigate my advantage um, that I would have over the AI with the track evolution and whatnot. So we'll be uh, we'll be sticking with the soft tires, the same set, um, all the way through Q3. Um, oh, yeah, you know, maybe we can uh, we can have yeah, some heroics here. Um, really hoping that we can uh, we can go ahead and fight for a pole, for a, uh, a pole position as we'll send our our new signing out of uh, of Carlos Sainz. So. Send him out first. We'll send Lewis out not too far after. I think we'll do that now. We'll see if he gets out in front of the McLaren. Actually, comes out behind. So that's not ideal to say the least. But I think the McLaren seem to have been pretty quick so far. So we'll go ahead and sim through this, um, or not sim through this, I should say, but uh, fast forward through this. Hopefully, we don't get held up by Leclerc. Uh, Science is pr obviously purple in the first sector. Move, 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 move. I don't think he got held up. We should still be okay, as I believe Norris is actually going purple in the first sector, which he is at a point five, interestingly enough. So we'll stick on board Lewis and make sure he doesn't get impeded. I don't think he will, but I believe Norris's lap will actually get impeded right at the death. So we might be in a pretty decent spot as Suns comes across the line and sets a benchmark of a 29-1. Lewis will come across, the, or I guess technically Lando will come across the line next as he's been impeded by the uh, by the Red Bull of Charles Leclerc, but I guess it doesn't technically matter because he goes P1. Uh, wow, interesting enough, Science actually ahead of Hamilton. Hopefully that wasn't either of us spinning or locking up I or whatnot. That's for Stappen, cool. So we'll go ahead and, uh, I mean, you know what? No, no, no. I said the rule. We're sticking to it. So we actually got better with Science's setup. We'll go down to uh to 
and see if that uh, if that improves anything. Meanwhile, with Hamilton, uh, we'll obviously stick him with the same set. Car got better. We'll keep moving in that direction. Hopefully, it gets better for him as well. Uh, I'll stick with the AI's thing of setting him out late. Totally normal. Don't mind it. I don't imagine very many people towards the front uh, will be getting uh, an improvement uh, besides Verstappen. And wow, that is actually surprisingly close. Um, ooh, science might not even make it to start his flyer. That was a bit late on uh, on my part. But I, like I said, I can't really imagine many people will be improving outside of Max Verstappen. So. Coming to the end of qualifying here, we'll look at uh, Charles Leclerc. So he will come out of the last corner. He is only 600th off pole. Will he be able to jump up and take it? That will be almost. I mean, he's not four tenths off or four hundredths off. So good qualifying effort from them. Magnussen in P7 stays P7. Gasly up to P5. Verstappen, the next big hitter. He goes to the top at a 29-1. Seven thousands quicker than Lando Norris. Does he have anything that he can respond with? I don't bank on it, as uh, Hamilton across the line does not improve. Norris across the line now does not improve as well. It's all down to Carlos Sainz, who is not even on a, on a green lap. So I think that will be the end of qualifying for us. Not bad. Not bad. I am amazed with Norris's pace. Um, good for McLaren. They've had a rough couple seasons as well. I think this will be a turning point for them. Um, from our side, not bad. Not bad at all. P3 and P5. Uh, it's time. We'll take it. Obviously, this is uh, one of the stranger races, as uh, we actually didn't improve the setup with, with science, so that's not uh, not ideal. So we'll put him back to 4.5. We we actually didn't technically improve with Hamilton, although it's still technically 79%. Um, in terms of strategy, I think it's pretty straightforward here. Obviously, a three stop, no matter what. 33-0. Um, okay. Why don't? Okay. This is another thing that I want to do. I want to stick to the AI generated strategies. Reason being, it's just, like I said, I'm kind of mitigating my advantage. Obviously, I know what strategy is going to be faster. Like if I went saw, or if I went medium, soft, medium, that would obviously be quite a bit quicker than what the AI would come up with. But the AI can only choose from these three as well. So once again, kind of just mitigating my advantage, kind of just keep myself in check. Um, I think logically with science being the one starting in front, um, I think he gets the preferred strategy. So whichever one of these is the best, we'll send uh, Lewis on the off one. So we'll put science on uh, on this strategy. We'll back this up. Obviously, the pit stops, the strategy themselves might change, um, but the sequence is different. So we'll go ahead and do that. So it dips right about there. Okay, bingo. That's going to be what we do with uh, with Mr. Carlos Sainz. For Lewis, on the other hand, I kind of want to do the same thing. It says this is cool. I mean, the tire. I don't even know why the game comes up with this because obviously the tires are not going to survive. Um, I think we'll just go ahead and do the inverse strategy of what Sainz is doing. So he will have his uh, his softs to dispose of at the end of the race. Let's see how, how we can optimize this the best. It's another 57. It's a little bit different. Um, then what obviously we gave science flipping them um, hopefully that at no point they really intersect at all so we have all of our bases covered I think we're in a good spot P3 and P5 we'll see what uh, what the Red Bulls and the McLarens have for us or what we have for them I should say because we are behind them after all um, we'll put science on overtake and we'll put Hamilton on defend should be an interesting race I'm really excited for the season it looks like there's a bunch of really competitive teams let's, uh, let's get it underway it looks like clear weather tonight for this race, with the drivers now just taking position on the grid. Taking a look here at Carlos Sainz. They've managed a third place start for this race, but can they turn it into a win? Looking down the grid, it's Hamilton. They might not be in the top three spots, but things could change fast once the race gets underway. Here we go with the Bahrain Grand Prix. It's lights out, and away we go. Lights out, and away we go. Norris has had a horrible start. I think Hamilton's actually had a phenomenal one. Uh, might actually be able to jump himself up into P3 or P4. Mm, 
maybe not quite. Uh, maybe, you know, we're going to put him on overtake and we're going to see if he can get the job done. I think, unfortunately, I did it a little overtake. bit too late, but I think, yep. I believe Science will actually get the job done here on Norris as all these drivers are on the soft tires besides Hamilton, interestingly enough. So uh, maybe a little bit of strategy there to play um, on our side. So we'll be doing a little something different. Uh, obviously, it makes us very vulnerable. At the same time, it gives us a, uh, an opportunity to do something different, which I like. Um, so, yeah, hopefully Leclerc is able to stay in DRS range, at least for Hamilton's sake, as we're going to put him on deploy, get him a little bit closer here to this group. Kind of keep him at that 6-10th mark. He should be fine now to stay in the DRS. DRS is enabled. As DRS has been enabled. So we are going racing this lap. See if we can make our uh, some overtakes. If you look back through the field, it looks like Paris has actually lost touch with Hamilton and has fallen out of DRS. So that'll be uh, interesting to see if they can regain it or if they will be perpetually stuck. And we will have a uh, five-car battle between the two Williams, the two Red Bulls, and obviously the McLaren of Lando Norris. So I guess technically the time really isn't to push at the moment. It's really just a matter of making sure that nobody gets away and just running in, you know, within your means. Um, I think this DRS is going to give Hamilton a huge advantage towards the end of the race, but obviously if the safety car comes out and he winds up in a shitty spot, you know, it could definitely be a detriment to his race. Um, as we look behind, it looks like everybody's kind of starting to sort themselves out, see where everybody's pace is at. As uh, somebody's locked up, that it looks like that's an Alpha Tauri in the back of Sebastian Vettel. Huh. Not, uh... Not the ideal start for what is more than likely going to be uh, Sebastian Vettel's final season in Formula 1. I'd be amazed if he sticks around longer than, uh, than this season. But either way, back up front, finally Carlos Sainz in a, in a competitive car is, uh, is taking it to Verstappen. As uh, I say that Verstappen actually holds on to the spot as they both got by Norris anyways. But still, um, I think this is what we're gonna, we can expect to see for a lot of the season. Um, really just Red Bull... And, uh, and Williams, we're going to go at it again this season. Um, the, the McLaren of Kevin Magnussen, I mean, they're not too far back. Um, they're definitely not out of this race yet, but that gap just continues to grow without uh, without them being in DRS range. So uh, not, not ideal circumstances for them, of course. It's good, pretty good for us, if, I, if I'm being perfectly honest. Um, Lewis is kind of starting to fall out of the... Never mind. <laughs> I take it all back. He's just fine. As uh, Norris is going to try to make a run back to the point, Norris has been one of those guys that has just been slowly developing. As uh, you know, McLaren's had a couple of rough seasons, but he's had some really, really, really good performances. Not quite sure if he's a race winner yet, uh, but I'm sure with how uh, how McLaren's looking so far this season, they will be uh, more than competitive, uh, and I'm sure he'll be in, in contention for for more than a handful of wins. So. Obviously, like I said, um, kind of breaking away here with this top five. Like I said, just every lap that gap seems to grow a little bit uh, to the group behind us. Those uh, soft tires are starting to die. So we've got a three-way battle for the lead. Four-way almost. And this will be a really, really inopportune time for, to have a lockup. Um, Verstappen's defensive perks, or I should say uh, his defensive rating, is going to bail him out here. He's just so difficult to pass, even though like, it's, like it, that would be a very easy overtake right there. Um, either way, not a big deal. Like I said, this part of the race is just about driving within your means and uh, getting the most out of the car. So, with that being said, this next group, I mean, it's really, I mean, every every car seems to be able to uh, to keep up, more or less, as we got the, you know, the Mercedes, the Alpines, the Alfa Romeos, um, and even the Aston Martins are not really falling off too much. I don't know why they're going so slow. Admittedly, um, either way, not not of our concern, uh, at least not immediately. Um, Mick Schumacher is getting shown up by his teammate, who is three overall underneath. That's the uh, that's that shit. Wait, is he number twenty as well? Oh, he's forty three. I don't know why. I thought it doesn't it say twenty on the front? Yeah, it says 20 on the front. That's supposed to be 43, uh, whatever. Small glitch, not a big deal. Anyway. Back up front, Science is actually taking the lead, and Hamilton is eerily close to dropping out of DRS range. We'll let him uh, deploy for a little bit. He's actually going to go make a move on Leclerc here. 
move himself up into P4. I think I'm pretty content now with just letting them run for a bit. There's really not much we can do as there's a yellow flag for something. Not quite sure what that was for, but looks like all of our, our guys are okay. So Claire has run wide. Maybe he's uh, damaged the floor, perhaps? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, yellow flag again. Oh, it's the McLaren of Magnuson. This is exactly what I was talking I about. Let's take a look at the Magnuson's been, been you know, quick enough to really keep up with anyone who just hasn't and had the consistency. Yes, that's and the um, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's unfortunate for them. Mm -hmm. Well, that's one less person that we need to worry about uh, getting involved here, although his teammate is really carrying the load anyways. Um, getting pretty closer to the pit window. We'll look at everybody's tire percentage. It's pretty damn close between everybody. Um, as Science is going to try to make another run up for Stappen here, try to take that lead back. It looks like he will do so. So I'd imagine the AI is going to bring everybody in around the same time. We'll see. So, oh, there's a yellow flag. There's Ricardo has had a moment. They've locked up and gone straight on. Sergeant and Ricardo. Now just focus on the Hass. So earlier in the lap, Sergeant has a minor lockup, but looks like he's been able to hold on pretty well. Um, no, they did not have such high hopes. I know exactly what he's going to say. That is not at all what happened. Meanwhile, with Ricardo, now look at this. Daniel Ricardo involved here. Oh, there's the That's the last thing they'll have wanted. Not, uh, not the return to uh, to Alpine that I'm sure Mr. Ricardo would have wanted, but uh, yeah, one less person we have to deal with. I'm not complaining. As uh, we're gonna bring Carlos Sainz in this lap, obviously it's uh, it's time time to get off these softs. I'd imagine most of the AI will be bringing you, their uh, their drivers in this uh, this lap. Um, looks like we're Stappen and Sainz are just kind of going back and forth here. Um, as Sainz will retake the lead, and crucially, we'll have it coming into the pit lane, which honestly isn't ideal i'm actually going to push him here and see if we can build up that gap a little bit more because i know that you can reduce lifting coast i know the gap is not uh it's not enough really looks like we've got it up to a half second okay okay driver for ferrari uh anyways so we've got what almost a six tenths of a second yeah, gap is Verstappen actually stays out all right roger so we are in this uh, lap. It looks like we're the only pit crew that's out at the moment. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I wonder what the AI is going to be playing at. So they have a couple more laps that they could go. Um, good pit stop, too. Actually, no, it's kind of a shitty pit stop, if I'm being honest. Um, he will come out either just ahead or just behind Ricardo. Ricciardo, I should say. So hopefully uh, he'll be able to get by him on the back straightaway here and not lose too much time. Meanwhile, back up front with Verstappen and Norris, I'm sure they'll swap no spots here, which they have done so. We will see if the AI decides to bring their drivers down to the pit lane this lap. I know, okay, interesting move there by Carlos, but obviously okay, trying to get a move on. Coast. We'll see if, if anybody pits here. Don't know for sure, although it looks like there are some pit crews out on the pit lane. We'll see if anybody coming. In? Nobody. Nobody at all. Wow. Okay. I could have swore I saw some pit crews standing out on the pit lane, but I guess I was mistaken. Uh, hopefully, Science will be able to get by Ricardo here and not lose any more time than he already has. Um, looks like he's been able to do so. Hopefully, he stays in front. Thankfully, he has and should hopefully pull away here. Actually, no, he doesn't. I'll be damned. That is unfortunate. As uh, we finally got our first set of pit stops here, Leclerc will lead them onto the pit lane as he's actually being held up in the pits by the Ferrari and Alpine. That is just wonderful. Who also does not get held up. So Perez will lead the uh, the charge, or uh, Perez, sorry, force of habit. Leclerc will lead the uh, the charge off of the pit lane. So it will be... Leclerc, Perez, Bottas, Gasly, Sonoda, Stroll, and Magnussen as the running order coming out of the pit. Somehow we've managed to gain a ton of time with Carlos Sainz. I guess the undercut is just that big. Um, hmm, interesting. I was going to say I was very surprised that the AI took the, themselves the full distance, but maybe they have something up their sleeve that I don't know. It's entirely possible. Um, either way, I believe the... Uh, 
the McLaren of Lando Norris and the Red Bull of Max Verstappen will be in this lap. More than likely, obviously, both starting on the soft compound. Interestingly enough, Norris will actually lead coming into the pit lane over Verstappen. We'll see if their Red Bull crew can uh, get their driver up in front as Verstappen comes in right on the back bumper, wing bumper, whatever, of, uh, of Lando Norris. We'll see... Good stop, but crucially held up by the Alfa Romeo, but looks like McLaren has found themselves in the same issue as actually he's going to get held up even more as he had to wait for the Alfa Tauri of, uh, I believe that is Guan Yu Zhou. Okay, so here's the big kicker as for whatever reason, Ricardo's actually been able to keep up pretty well with Carlos Sainz, or uh, yeah, with Carlos Sainz. So Verstappen comes out of the pit lane right behind McLaren, so that means both of them got held up pretty bad. Um, Perez, Norris, Albon... Bottas, Joe, Gasly, Sonoda, Stroll, um, and Mick Schumacher will blend in behind Kevin Magnussen. So it looks like the drivers that have yet to pit are those belonging inside the top seven. So Hamilton, Russell, Ocon, who has just absolutely shredded his tires. Um, Sargent, Giovinazzi, Vettel, and Ricardo all have yet to pit. Um, hopefully Carlos can get by sooner rather than later. Um, well, I guess we'll just sit behind him and save some fuel or something, right. I don't know. So Russell is uh, being brought into the pit lane Switches. this lap Switches. by uh, by okay. Mercedes, their they're knight in shining, uh, shining silver, I should say. Comes into the pit lane, will he be held up? Oh my goodness. Even more drivers being held up, this is wonderful. Quickly watching over the, uh, the Haas and the Aston Martin pit stops, I'd imagine it'll be more of the same. So Russell was held up. We'll be, it'll be interesting to see where he blends out as actually Sargent will have to blend in luckily behind the Aston Martin. Didn't lose too much time. So all of these guys will go ahead and cycle themselves out into traffic. As there's a yellow flag, that's an Aston Martin off of turn one. That is Sonoda, I believe. Yes, it is. Wow. We can okay. Take a look now. Oh, big lock up there. Let's have a look here. This uh, was the Aston Martin. That's tough. Because I believe if you look at the running order, they were just outside of points. And interestingly enough, I think Ferrari's got Esteban doing the soft, medium, soft strategy because he's going way long on these softs. Or they're well over the hill. I think they should probably just go ahead and call him in this lap, which they do. Which will almost fully complete the first uh, cycle of pit stops. I think he's actually going to come off the big loser here and actually blend out into traffic by himself, which with how little effect the uh, the dirty air has with how big of an effect the DRS has that is not what you want to see so with that Lewis is just kind of doing his uh, his own thing he's actually got a little bit of uh, tire wear to play with so we'll go ahead and get we him back on target again yep meanwhile behind so science has got a three second gap back to Verstappen who's on mediums and also with the Claire right in tow obviously they were held up pretty badly in the pit cycle um, having to wait on certain drivers, so that's where we got that gap from. They will probably more than likely just kind of leapfrog get them, each other uh, getting back to us. Plus, I think that Red Bull is just a little bit quicker than we are. Um, in all honesty, meanwhile, Perez and Norris having a good little tussle here for for P5. They've kind of separated themselves from the Alfa Romeo behind of Albon, who has kind of come from nowhere. I don't remember Alex being in a particularly good spot before the pit stop, so that's obviously worked out well for himself. Um, Bottas, obviously, P8. Gasly P9 and Russell P10. There's kind of this train forming behind uh, for those last two podium positions. So it'll be interesting to see how the middle, middle, medium tire runners um, will fare towards the latter stage of this run or this particular stint. Not so much the race itself, but um, see if they can actually make time by themselves and actually catch those on hards with DRS off of one another. So that being said, Lewis still continues to lead this Grand Prix. Really not losing that much time to, to science behind, but obviously pushing pretty pretty damn hard. We'll be uh, back on target probably at the end of this lap. About time ready for, or it's about time for him to come into the pit lane. So we'll go ahead and call him in onto a set of hard tires. And uh, he'll have a cool, I don't know, I, I'm... No, no I won't. All the AIs use a set of softs, we're going to use a set of softs with Hamilton. It's like I said, it's part of my rule. As uh, just like I said, the Red Bulls have uh, leapfrogged their way onto Increase the back of Carlos. Sainz. I still think it's very okay. strange that the game developers decided to give the Red Bull the uh, the high nose concept. Um, actually, they have a Keep pushing. Keep do they pushing. have a low nose? 
Huh, I wonder if it changes from season to season. The the teams that don't have custom car models, I wonder if it changes. Oh well. Either way, like I said, Hamilton in the slap will go ahead and oh VSC, that's just a collision involving Mick Schumacher. Virtual safety cup. Understood. Okay, interesting. We'll get a replay of it here, I'm sure. The replay. Right, watch this. There's Schumacher. Schumacher up the and inside of Ricardo. It almost got yeah, away from it's a little entirely. awkward. Well, that, uh, man, Lewis just got a freebie right there. I think he's actually going to come out basically right next to Verstappen and uh, in science is actually losing a little bit of time, but obviously Lewis yeah, in this lap. Easy. Should be a pretty, pretty straightforward pit stop. Hard tires going on. I believe he might he might just come out in the race lead. If I'm not mistaken, it'll be close. Remember, no overtaking under the virtual safety car. Unfortunately, it looks like he's just come up a bit short, but still, that worked out great <laughs> for Hamilton. Um, unfortunately, going to have to push both of them because he actually did hold up science a little bit. Um, PSC is ending. Make sure that we stay in DRS range, which we have done so. I'm on DRS. Cool. Okay, well, I mean, I guess it's kind of just a straight fight between the... It's a 2v2. I mean, we saw this kind of brewing towards the end of last year. We have the ability to keep up uh, with development with Red Bull. Um, I think this will be a lot of what we see this season between uh, these four. Um, interestingly enough, the two uh, the two ex-Ferrari teammates have found themselves at different teams, but still fighting one another um, for, a, for a podium position. So that's kind of fun. Uh, Norris has kind of got himself on an island, doesn't really have the pace to keep up. That, that McLaren just doesn't seem to have the race pace that it showed um, from his phenomenal qualifying lap. Um, meanwhile, behind the Alfa Romeo and the uh, Ferrari of Perez, Albon, and then also the Mercedes of Valtteri Bottas probably will catch Norris at some point. We'll just kind of absorb him um, through, uh, through the DRS. Um, Russell behind also kind of by himself, but not I suppose because he and Gasly have broken away from uh, from the big train that was there but has uh, seemingly dissolved for uh, for one reason or other Joe and uh, obviously Esteban Alcon with on that weird strategy that I'm not entirely sure what Ferrari is doing I think maybe they're doing soft medium or uh, soft hard soft kind of baffles me at the moment but uh, yeah they're doing their thing and then Giovinazzi in 13th Stroll and all these guys are probably going to blitz past Giovinazzi if I'm being perfectly honest um, obviously, then the two drivers that were involved in the incident with uh, with each other, Ricardo and Schumacher. Interestingly enough, none of them sustaining damage, so good for uh, good for their races. And then obviously, the uh, he just seems to be the consistent back marker of this uh, of this series, Yuki Sonoda and the Aston Martin. And I hope I hope he gets some more because he, he the, the Aston Martins were not too bad towards the end of last season. They were more than competitive. Um, so hopefully a, a good year for them. At least that uh, you know they take that step forward of not just being the doormat of uh, of the result sheet. So with that being said, really not much it's we can do at the moment. Uh, as there's a yellow flag in sector two. Not entirely sure what that's for. Looks like there's an Alpine going slowly, or was, was it Schumacher? Yeah, was Schumacher running wide. Eh, what else is new? Going to be like I said, a rough year for Haas. You already know it's going to be rough when. Sargent is quite literally just on the outskirts of points in his F1 debut as a 76 overall. And you go down here with Mick Schumacher running wide as Hamilton has gone wide. That's a little bit of karma for... Uh, it's not even karma, honestly. It's just like, what? Like, he got... He... Okay, so they gave the game gave him the benefit of the VSC, but just <laughs> took it away. By making him lock up, that's just kind of funny. Uh, either way, I think maybe he might just... Nah, he doesn't have the pace. He's kind of stuck. I think his race is kind of screwed unless he gets another so miracle so safety car. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a 2v1 now, which uh, makes things interesting. Hamilton has shown uh, towards the latter part of his career that he tends to he makes McLaren quite a few mistakes. Um, definitely something to look at. Obviously, this will be... Same thing with Hamilton. This will more than likely be his last season. We we had the option in the off season to go a different direction, um, but really we, I couldn't think of a better driver 
to come back. Obviously, it's it's well documented that Lewis would love nothing more than to win a, a world driver's title for his uh, obviously recently deceased uh, good friend and Frank Williams. So um, with that precedent, we spent uh, 32 million dollars just in salary oh, for this year. So that on the back running wide doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, we we spent a, a pretty penny getting the uh, the service the services of the. Uh, Seven-time world champion from uh, from Stevenage. So, with that being said, not really shown at this race. Although he, there have been time there. There have been laps where Norris and Hamilton have actually closed up a little bit on the group in front. Um, we'll see. So we're actually a little bit to the good. I'm gonna quickly adjust Carlos' strategy. See if there's anything better that we can do. Yeah. Looks like the game wants us to go a lap longer. We will happily abide because I think pitting now would be a bit of a waste. Um, It'll be interesting to see. So the game yeah, projects that place. he will come out in 16th. So somewhere in this wad or behind this wad is where the game projects he will come out. But I believe the gap is really only 21 seconds. So he will actually come out behind Alcon and in front of Giovinazzi, barring obviously a clean pit stop and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I'm just I'm content with letting him push right now. We'll. Uh, so we have a sector yellow, or yellow flag in sector like two. Is that a Ferrari? Ferrari? That is. A Ooh. So let's look at this. There's Sergio Perez. That of course. Up could have cost them dearly. <laughs> of course, the same weekend that I say, you know, Ferrari's going with the philosophy of, you know, we want consistency over flash. And uh, that consistency has been rewarded with, uh, I believe, both of them having individual mistakes. Actually, Alcom is just on a weird strategy. And uh, Perez making his first blunder. So not uh, not great for the, uh, for the Italian outfit, but... Say Levy. Um, Science will go ahead and come in this lap. We've got the field to burn. Kind of to drop Hopefully he will come out in a in clear air. I believe he will. It'll be close. Like I said, I believe he will come out somewhere behind Ocon and in front of, I guess, now the Alpha Tauri of, uh, of Guan Yu Zhou. He's got field to burn. As, uh, for whatever reason, slowing dead. That might... I'm going to hold my tongue here. And a slow pit stop. That is not what you want to see. That is... Oh, boy. No saving required. Well, with that... Oh, his race is screwed. Because of the checking up and the slow pit stop, he's actually going to come out at the back of this train. Uh, that's not good. That's actually really not good. We think you can reduce So now, post. instead of being in the net lead no, with clean air and only two or three cars to pass, he's actually behind the whole group. Is Albon? Albon? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. We've got a yellow Sounds flag for like something. Uh, Schumacher locking up again. Well, well, well. That makes things very interesting for our race with uh, Mr. Science. Just gained by I'm Williams. interested to see. As uh, Eclair's fallen off quite a bit, there's actually pit crews on the uh, on the wall. I believe that's the Haas, and I don't even know what other crew that would be. Or is it Alpine and Haas? No, it's Alfa Romeo. Okay. Oh, more teams have come out into the pit lane. Okay, so the AI deciding to uh, to pull the plug on their respective strategies. So it will be. So that's. Oh, it's Alpha Tauri. Okay, Alpha Tauri. Alfa Romeo and Haas have decided to bring the drivers in to fit the medium compound tires. Will they hold each other up? No, they will not. Good for them. As Joe comes in this lap, so I'd imagine Scoots, come on. the Haas of Mick Schumacher will be in this lap as well. Yes, he will. From the back, he will obviously serve his five-second penalty. Not ideal, but uh, that's what you get when you run into people. So, wow, wow. Uh, I'm going to tell him to overtake. He needs to get through this traffic. It is... Borderline race criticals. We've actually managed to catch the uh, the Red Bull of Leclerc. Um, interestingly Checking enough, as a uh, yeah. I mean, gotta go, gotta go, Carlos. Sooner rather than later. We'll see. Does Red Bull elect to bring any of their drivers in? No, but McLaren will pull the trigger here with Norris, as Red Bull will be bringing one of the drivers in next lap. As uh, McLaren, interestingly enough, fitting the soft compound to Lando Norris. Huh. Good job. Cool. 
looking behind doesn't look like the air's bringing anybody in so science will go ahead and take this but look at the amount of time that he lost no i mean he's got to have a three second gap to norris nice work. so if we look at this 26 8 i mean he's going to come out right behind Oh. Why do I ever speak? Right when he got clear of the traffic. Uh, well, that's not gonna... Okay, well, that, uh, well, GG, Carlos. GG as for stepping into the pit lane. Onto the soft compound the tire. Yeah, so we'll see what goes on here. Looks like Russell will be coming in. He will be going on to the soft, so I guess the majority of the AI will be coming on the soft compound as, by the way, Dalton Sargent, I believe, is in a legit P, like, a, a, a net P9 uh, on debut in a Haas that is really not that competitive from what everything has been, uh, from everything that we've seen in the preseason. God, that pit stop could not have been any slower. Um... <laughs> Either way, uh, looks like he will merge out in front of those coming in traffic. So Vettel will merge out next to his uh, teammate, which is weird because Vettel has that, that lockup, and you'd think Joe would be way farther ahead, but I guess not. Um, and then obviously Sonoda, Ricardo, and Giovinazzi. So still a decent amount of people that still need to come in. Uh, Norris is on an old set of softs, and he's kind of stuck in this group. Science has re-caught them almost. Um. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So, the first driver on a new set of tires is obviously Max Verstappen. He is in P5, I believe. He's got this race won. Because uh, we blundered very, very, very hard. Um, we'll see. Does the So, nobody's out on pit lane. So, I'd imagine we'll, uh, we'll have to wait a little while longer to see any more pit stops. Um, at least from the leaders. So, yeah, I guess we'll let it run for a bit. Um, Science, I mean, Norris has been able to navigate to the traffic. Science has recaught this group. Um, good pass there by Science. Doesn't really make up for the fact that he kind of ruined his own race, but hey. Say la, I gotta stop saying say la vie. Just one more thing that I gotta stop saying. Uh, Bottas and Magnussen are into the pit lane. Or Bottas and Gasly, I should say, are into the pit lane. Also followed by Perez. Pit stop from Mercedes here is good. Actually did not get held up by the Red Bull, luckily for them, or the uh, the Ferrari, I should say, and will actually come back out in front of the Alpine as Magnussen and Stroll have also come into the pit lane. And unfortunately for Ferrari, who just continued to make strategy blunders, will cost themselves some time here as uh, also Stroll will come in and make his pit stop. Seemingly unimpeded. And uh, Yuki Tsunoda will follow them in as well. So, in okay. Very interesting. Very interesting. I'm going to actually look at Sonoda and see if... So Red Bull has their crew out. We are going to cover... Actually, we're going to... It depends. Depends on the gap. We're going to push Hamilton here. If we can get over... Save if, I, if I pit Lewis now, he's going to come... <laughs> I need to push him one more lap. We need to go one lap longer. Because if I pit him now, uh, he's just going to get jumped by Leclerc. And I don't want to take that risk. I'd rather him go another lap and uh, save those softs. I don't really, we don't necessarily mind it. Should still be okay. Man, science has lost so much time as Leclerc comes okay, into the pit lane. Coast. Okay. So I guess we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and stick to the script here. We'll call Hamilton in this lap for his best set of, uh, of soft compound rubber. Ah, it's just not ideal. Not ideal to say the least. As uh, like I said, Leclerc Fox, comes Fox. in. That was a hell of a pit stop. That was like a 2.3. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So we'll see where so Verstappen's like I said, has this race won. We will see where Leclerc comes out. He will be jumped by both Norris and Ocon. Will he come out in front of Science? Yes, he will. So their battle will resume if Science can keep up. Hosted. That will be obviously race yeah, critical that he maintains DRS of uh, Leclerc in front. But unfortunately, I believe the uh, the ailing Ferrari of Esteban Ocon, who actually should theoretically be in this lap, 
Um, well, actually, probably cost us DRS. So that's. I mean, when you go off, you know, it's just like your race is over. Um, meanwhile, Hamilton into the pit lane, got saved by the safety car, and then immediately blew it. Hopefully, this isn't a sign of our season, but either way. Into the pit lane, hopefully a sub three second stop would be lovely. 2.7, that's more like it. Okay, that's good, that's good. Okay, we'll see where he comes out. He will emerge in P6, I believe ahead of the DRS range of the Mercedes behind. It's close with Russell. I think he's just safe. And if, even if he isn't, I think he'll, he'll break away here in the, not, uh, in the not too distant future. Unfortunately, like I said, science has lost the uh, touch with DRS. Lifting close. Maybe? It's close. Um, I think we're going to tell Lewis to push here on the on the battery and the fuel. Make sure we get ahead of Ocon. Do not want to sit behind him any longer than we have to. Uh, thankfully, Science has been able to catch uh, the DRS of McLaren in front, but also lose it at the same time. I'm going to go ahead and push him. He should have it now. We should be fine. We will go ahead and put and him back on neutral. I would imagine... I don't know what the hell Ferrari's smoking, but... They're just going to kill Esteban's race here as they actually bring him in late. I assume, obviously, so onto a uh, onto a set of Copy. soft compound tires. So that'll that will complete um, the uh, the pit cycle for this race. So everybody's strategy is uh, is out in the open. If I go to tire history, yeah, everybody's used. Uh, I mean, there are those that have used you know soft, medium, soft, or soft, hard, soft. Um, yeah, like I said, I didn't want to do the soft, medium. Or the medium, hard, medium, because it's just way too OP. And the AI doesn't know any better. That's the main one. Um, so yeah, towards the end of this race, looks like Verstappen's got quite a stranglehold. Um, will be an interesting fight here between uh, the three of these guys, between Leclerc, Norris, and Science. I don't think Hamilton, even though I believe he is technically quicker um, at the moment, I believe his softs will die before he even gets a shot. And with the DRS, you, you just lose copious amounts of time. As there's a yellow flag in Sector 2 for something. Obviously, it went away very fast. So I mean, somebody went wide. Doesn't really matter. That um, sounds like someone's gone wide there. Yeah, like I said. Uh, Albon, I don't know how the... I don't even know where he started. Yeah, up five spots. So he started P11. He and Russell have both had a hell of a race. And look at that. Logan Sargent on debut is on course to score points. And he's actually got better tires than Gasly in front. So he could actually take two points here for Haas on debut as a 76 overall while his teammate is quite literally running last some uh, some serious questions to be asked there at the uh, the Haas group but either way um, looking at everybody's tire situation uh, Russell will be lucky to make it to the end on those tires from being perfectly honest he, Ricardo and him are cutting it quite quite close I think the AI will just run, the AI will just run them on uh, on cords, so uh, I, b I fully believe Albon will be will be taking home this P6 um, in one form or another, just because there's no way that uh, those tires are going to be able to last. As uh, Russell actually goes off, wow, I'm just commentator's curse. Uh, he will emerge back in front of his teammate. Oh, big lock up there! Who will unfortunately have to check up, and will allow Gasly into their DRS range, I believe. Okay, so we just got a new battle. Yeah, Russell's race is definitely screwed. I would not be surprised if Sargent scores P8 here. He, All he needs to do is get into the DRS of the drivers in front, and I think he, he can pose a legitimate threat for P8. I think, logically, I think Botas will probably drive away here, um, as long as Russell doesn't try to get him back here on this straightaway, which he very well might. Looks like he actually will. That just That just holds up that group even more. I think Sargent's got a legit shot to get... I mean, I think he's definitely got P10, barring a mistake. Um, but he could get more, barring uh, Russell's tire failure. Um, Joe is in a pretty decent spot to maybe pick up points if uh, if any more calamities happen. Um, Ricardo's race is absolutely screwed. I mean, 54%. You're toast. Um, just kind of a weird way that this race worked itself out. And look at the, the Ferrari brilliance has resulted... In uh, Esteban Ocon doing absolutely jack squat. Ferrari, even in uh, even in video games, will uh, will always see. It will never amaze me how much they can fuck it up in uh, in one spot. So enough ragging on them. As there's a mistake from some uh, sergeant. Man, everything I everything I say literally comes true. 
Is that a lockup? That is Let's really, really unfortunate. Yeah, he was doing such a good job too. Just pushing, trying to get, uh, trying to get into the DRS for those in front. Unfortunately, it's going to cost him points here. Um, at least I believe it will, um, unless he can somehow work his way back through this, this, uh, this uh, not only catch but work his way through this nasty group of guys in front, and he's actually damaged his tires in the process. So, yeah, unfortunate for Sergeant, but hey, he showed the flash. I mean, he's still going to be his teammate. Um, although, <laughs> I mean, look how far behind he is. Like. Damn. Uh, so yeah, jumping back in front. I think science is going to be in a really good spot. I'm actually going to save some battery while I can. Because I think he'll be in a really good spot here towards the end of this race. Uh, when those soft tires go, he's going to be in a phenomenal spot to, uh, to capitalize. Um, as they're actually battling and letting him catch. So he'll have DRS again. Um, like I said, Hamilton's quick right now. Um, he just doesn't have DRS, unfortunately, for uh, for his sake. Um, just saving battery. Little little close here, not gonna lie, but should be uh, should be good. Maybe one or two more laps of saving uh, saving hybrid, and it might inadvertently allow Hamilton to get up in here and uh, mix it up with the. Uh, I mean, Norris's tires are about to die once they go over that thirty percent cliff. It'll be uh, a good fight between Science. Declare, and I believe Hamilton, who might just have DRS within the next lap or so, if we continue to save at this rate with uh, with Carlos. I believe we just got the uh, your DRS is uh, full, so we'll go ahead and put him on neutral. And once he gets by Norris, we'll go ahead and let him unleash on Leclerc. Hopefully, at some point, he'll get ahead of Leclerc, and we'll let him uh, run wild in the infield. Um, looking back, Albon started P11, running P6. I mean, that's just a phenomenal result for that team and for for him. Like I said, there was. When uh, when it came between him and Fernando for who's going to have that seat last year, it was it was not as easy of a decision as uh, as you might imagine. So good good to see him uh, doing well. Drop back a little farther the two Mercedes, obviously after Russell's mistake, um, battling it out with the Alpine of Pierre Gasly should be a, a good fight here to the end with them. And then obviously there's like a four or five way fight here for. Uh, <laughs> For P uh, for P10 is there's actually an Aston Martin in the fight. How about that? Like I said, the Aston Martin, they they showed good signs last year that they kind of got their stuff together and were were being a little bit more competitive. I think that's just showing through here. Unfortunately, I think the tire situation is actually not. I take it back. It's actually not too bad of a of a situation as some of these guys' tires are about to fall off a cliff. Um, and then you've got obviously the Ferrari of Esteban Ocon who's been royally screwed. I think this is like where. Like, Al, Al, Aston Martin, the Aston Martin of Giovinazzi really hasn't done anything crazy. And I think that's what's got him in this position. I mean, Ricardo's been in an accident today. Like, come on. Um, so, I mean, the fact that he's up this far is nothing short of a miracle. Um, but, like, the, the Giovinazzi's and the Joes of the world, really, those are just guys who have been slow but haven't had mistakes because Ocon's been on a horrible strategy. Sargent's had a lockup. Magnussen's had a lockup. Stroll's had a lockup. Sonoda's had, I think, two lockups, and Schumacher's had, I think, three. So, uh, yeah. Either way, uh, Norris's tires are below the 30% threshold, and we do not want to risk uh, losing touch with uh, Leclerc in front, so we're going to go ahead and push him. Hamilton, thankfully, has actually worked his way inside the DRS range of Carlos Sainz in front, so he might be able to uh, be in a decent enough spot. Unfortunately, a little bit of a lack of straight line speed is going to be hampering us. As we, I think they're actually technically catching Verstappen as uh, Science will hopefully go ahead and dump his uh, his ERS unit here and uh, get by the McLaren of Lando Norris, which he has done, thankfully. And then uh, Lando will be uh, up next on the uh, on the dinner plate for, for Mr. Lewis Hamilton, or I should say Sir Lewis Hamilton. I don't know. Just gained by um, Verstappen's tires fall off a cliff. I don't think there's enough time to catch him, really. Um... I think a handful more laps, it, it would have been damn close. As there's there's a lot of squabbling going on behind us. Um, I'll do my best to try to try to keep track. I'll go ahead and deploy here with signs. We're gonna just push like hell um, and see if we and can't uh, can't break the RS to Leclerc at least make his life a little difficult. As actually, he's gonna go for it up the inside here. We think you can. The former the Ferrari coast. teammates duking it out in a Red Bull and a Williams. Could How about that? Um, Probably not the greatest spot to deploy. Yeah, I think Increase. I kind of just made a, I made a bit of a blunder right there. Uh, we'll go defensive here with science. 
Uh, thankfully, Lewis was able to get ahead of Norris, who also has DRS behind. He'll quickly run through the field. So, I mean, a couple more laps. I think I think Verstappen would be under legitimate threat from uh, from Sainz behind. And this um, is the last lap. That gap has come way, way down as of late, as uh, so Sainz thankfully is back to... Uh, cool. To neutral fuel, oh, we're going to push Hamilton here on these uh, on these tires to make sure that he can uh, at least have a shot at it. Um, looking down the order, obviously I think Norris has solidified that P5. Still a really good result for him. Great qualifying. Yeah. It's going to pay well, off big with the points. Alex yeah. Albon probably the the driver of the day, honestly. Um, started P11, ran a great race. Will come home in P6 more than, more than likely than not. Um, I believe Gasly will probably jump Russell here to get P7 back. Botas will probably get P9 or P8. Vettel, I think, will hold on. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, Perez will make a run at him. Uh, but then behind, obviously, Ricardo, show. I mean, all these guys are out of the point, so it doesn't... Yeah, who gives a fuck? Um, Leclerc is going to get ahead of Science here. That's not what I wanted to see. Science, I think, can fight back with the battery, but really just depends... Man, that gap's down to three. I mean, Verstappen is not that far. If there was one more lap, I think Verstappen would be in real trouble. Uh, realistically, two more laps. I take that back. But even still, I think we're going to kind of... I think we just got mugged. We just got fucking mugged. Anyway, Verstappen picking up right where he left off. World champion of 2024. Starting up strong at 25. He will he will win the, uh, the uh, Bahrain Grand Prix. Leclerc P2, Sainz P3 on debut with us, Hamilton P4, Norris very solid P5. Album around the last corner, he will come home and take P6. There is some serious shit going on back here, and that whole group actually just came into a train. But like I said, Gasly will take over, take home P7, Russell P8, Bottas P9, and Sebastian Vettel will take home P10. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Take the pickup. What a fantastic result for Carlos Sainz. What a beautiful sight that is on the podium and a true crowning achievement for everyone involved. And with that, the science name remains engraved in F1 history. And after all that hard work, surely it's time for them to enjoy this moment. Williams have got to be happy with their results here. This was good work. Just a really solid showing out there, which is exactly what they needed. At the end of the weekend, it's second place in the constructor standings for them. The teams now look ahead to the next round. Where they'll... I don't think we'd be celebrating. We just got mugged on the last lap by our championship rival who got max points. I can't imagine there'd be much celebrating going on. Either way, I completely spaced that Sebastian Vettel went up eight spots. And remember, he had that lockup. So he realistically could have gone up ten spots and finished P8. Damn. That's all I can say about that. But yeah, I think I think realistically, Alex Albon from P11 to P5, or to, to P6, that's a, that's a really great result. I mean, it'd be close. I didn't, I didn't realize Vettel started that far down. I mean, just wow. Um, sorry, I have the hiccups. Uh, you know, it's just kind of an unfortunate way to, to, to start the season. I really... <gasps> okay, hang on. <sighs> Damn it, we're going to finish this episode with hiccups. Shitty way to start the season. Uh, really thought we could have won 2 this, but just mistakes. I mean, that science having to step on the brakes to, like, get into the pit lane cost him time, and then we had a slow stop, and then he came out behind that whole group, and then he went wide really just kind of murdered what I, I think he would have won the race because if, if you look at it Verstappen only won by three and a half seconds we definitely lost more than that through through coming out 
behind that group instead of coming out in front, and then obviously the mistake. Even with the mistake, like even with coming out behind and whatnot, we still would have had enough time to get to him. Um, yeah, just is what it is. We'll uh, we'll take this and move on to Jetta. Still a decent start, you know. Keep our head down, keep moving. Damn, a thousand? Shit. And of course, Luz is the one to upgrade. <laughs> 